Hey, how's it going everybody? It's KB here and uh, as you guys know, a few days ago Google announced the new Android version. They call it a Android P and it's a Android 9.0. So in this video, I'm going to show you what are the few major changes in Android P. I'm not going to cover every single thing in Android P, but uh, I'm also going to compare the Android P and the Android O side by side so you can see the difference between them visually. So the first big change in Android P, what I have noticed is the new settings, icons and colors and maybe it's a new next level of material design. If you open the settings in Android P, just like me, I'm going to open the settings and you can see we have a colorful icons and little bit more sharper and little bit more clear text. And if you open the settings in Android O, you can see it just black and white. You can see the difference between Android P and the Android O settings. And I have also heard that the Android P has a new material design. So how true is that? I don't know, but you can see by yourself that the things are changed, at least the settings and they added more colors. And this is the new logo or Easter egg of the Android P. And you can also compare it with the Android O. And second big change in Android P is the new style of icon for the notification toggles. As you can see, they are now rounded. If you compare with the Android O, they look like this and uh, in Android P, they are rounded. And if you activate any toggle, they will turn into a greenish or bluish color and in android o they are just black and white like the gray and darker the android p is still in development so they might change the things how we are seeing right now so we can't say anything about it not yet and the third big change in android p is the new animations for app opening and app closing they are trying to make the android p smoother like the ios as you guys know if it comes to the performance like the smoothness ios is better than the android and i have heard that the new animations in android p will make your android faster maybe even faster than the ios it's just a news yet it's not true because uh, android p is still in development uh, it's not a full release uh, so I just don't want to talk too much about this. If it's true, we have to wait for the Android P's full release so we can compare it with the iOS. For now, it's just the news that Android is getting better than the iOS. So we just have to wait for the full release. And uh, yeah, that's all I know about the Android P. There are many changes, many features coming to the Android P. So I just don't want to talk too much about the Android P because it's still in beta. I mean, it's still in development, so they might make more changes in Android P. And last thing I want to say about the Android P, this is also a news that uh, the Android developers are removing unwanted codes from the Android system so they can improve the performance of Android. And we will see that how true it is uh, after the full release of the Android P and that's it i'm running android p in my windows system because i don't have a google pixel phone but if you have a google pixel phone you can try the android p right now but it's not stable so make sure that you back up everything and install the android p but if you don't have a google pixel phone then you can do just like me i downloaded the android studio and uh, now i'm running the android 9 or android p in my windows system i think that's all for this one guys hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and uh, what do you think about the android p will it be faster than the ios or similar to ios give me your thoughts in the comment section so we can chat in the comments i will reply your comment and i will also make a video about how to run android p in your windows system and uh, i will also put link in the description for the android sdk so you can run the android p in your windows system and yeah i will see you in the next one take care of self my fun bye bye